Oh yeah. Right, just to let you know what we're having for tea because a lot of people in here want to know what we're all having for tea and dinner. I am having, uh, you can see that, mince, mince, onions, new potatoes, carrots, marrow fat peas, which are my favourite. And oh, I've got some chip, chips doing underneath there as well at the minute. Sorry about that, boy. There, that's what I'm having for tea. What are you having? Bar well, sort of dinner as well. Um, it is let's have a look, 15:56, four o'clock. Uh, right, boy. Stay there. Just sold a few things on eBay, which is nice. Some boilies and hundred PV bags. That's all right. That's good. Right, as you know, I sell a few things on eBay. Give this a stir if you don't mind. While I'm talking, yeah, I sell a few things on eBay. I mean, today I've sold um, two carp cradles, boilies, lots of PVA bags, baiting tools. Ugh. Oh, there's something else there as well. It's probably a payment. Yeah, I sell quite a few things on there. And, you know, the reason I do it obviously is to. Trying to make a bit of money to survive. It's not easy surviving these days, as we all know. But uh, I'm lucky enough I've ended up doing this. So I come out, hopefully, the idea is I'll be able to sell a few things on the bank, but not a lot of people are taking um, advantage of that. Right? Why, I don't know. I take it as not that many people on the banks at the moment. There's a few at um, Gwinnia that um, buy stuff from me, Phil especially. Um, I don't know where he's fishing today, I might give him a ring in a minute and see what he's up to. But Tony fishes Boscavano. Um, yeah, you know, there's, there's quite a few people at bait that obviously Oh, let's just fill that up there. Lovely. Let's go have a cup of coffee. Yeah, there's quite a few people that buy bits and pieces off me, which is nice. Um, but as I say, it's, it's been a bit quiet of late. I take it, it's got something to do with the time of year. Things aren't easy. It's been a rough old year, I think, financially for everybody this year. That's why I try and keep the prices as cheap as possible because I know that if if I was out there having to buy stuff to come fishing, um, I'd be looking for a bargain, you know. And that's that's exactly. Oh, look at there, snack, mints, bloody handsome. That's that's what I'm trying to do is is give people the opportunity to to buy a bargain. It's not crap neither. It's it's all um put some peas in there. I think I'm gonna do this for a minute. You gotta keep the lids closed. If you don't, you know what happens, don't you? At night the slugs get in there. Nah, just joking. What I should be doing is Putting that back in the um, cool box in a minute. I wouldn't want you to think that I'm really cooking up slugs here. Because that is no good. Is it? Oh, not beat there. I'll take it off some wind. The wind is doing the edging. It's bloody fantastic what we want. Oh, bloody hell. 
Uh, so what we've got here, we've got mints, new potatoes, onions, there's best mints by the way, which is nice. Not showing off, but what I'm going to say is it's, it is nice quality mints. I bought it from Tesco's and uh, nice product. The boy is going to be having some of that as well in a minute. Ooh, let's get my coffee cup. I've left it on the burner, which is uh, lovely. Kept the cup warm. Oh shit, and the coffee. situation is bait one two three three swims rain from me there's a chappy there he, I think he's fishing the island he's also fishing in the margins so it, it's, it's question there of who's going to catch a bloody margin fish he could get them if, if they're coming straight out of the deeps and straight up onto the margins then we've all got good as chance as anybody if they're coming from my right to my left, then I'm in trouble because they've got to get past six rods. Nine rods, sorry. They've got to get past bloody nine rods to get to me, which, well, quite honestly, nine rods, providing that things are being presented well. Be, of course they're fishing too far out eh? and not right in the margins and they go right under their lines. Don't tell anybody that though. Oh bloody hands. Oh, sorry, getting a bit too sunny. Bloody hell. That's bloody hands. Oh, you fill the kettle up so I've got water in there for the next time. Carp always taking this opportunity to have a little rest because he knows it's going to be a hectic night tonight. God, what a boy. Yep, he's, he foretells, Carp boy foretells a hectic bloody night tonight. Bloody handsome. <laughs> right, let's check on the old email. See what's afoot. Oh. I do. Just sold another 25 PVA bags. That's good. The mince is bubbling away. Of course, what I do is this. First goes in, onions. Let's just pull back a little bit. Onions go in first and start cooking them. Right. Next, not too long afterwards, we add the mince. Mince goes in. Matey over there is getting bloody bites. He's just packing up. He will be staying for another hour. Right, yeah. Um, sorry, then potatoes. Well, well mince and onions. I, I give that a good old stir around. Get, he's left his rods now to go to the car. It's going beep, beep, beep. Yeah, I'll give that a good old stir around, give it the business, do the business with that, get it so it's looking as though it's just coming up for cooked. Right, then what we do is chop the potatoes, put them in, because they're tin, tin new potatoes, which is good, because it means they're already cooked, so you've only got to basically heat them up. Next what I do...
Where is this from? Morrison's. Morrison's gravy powder. Grinders. Absolutely brilliant. I'll put some in to start with. Right. And then I add, add more to, to soup. Don't forget, of course. Salt and pepper. I don't know, I'm not sure, I've got a feeling. Grain peppers, coarse sea salt, main ingredients. I'll whack a bit of that in there, so that's all done. Right, I'll just put some more gravy in there so I'll give it a bit of a stir. I then open a tin of peas, marrow fat peas, because I like those, open a tin of Sliced carrots, not whole carrots, they take up too much room. You never get so many with whole carrots. Right. right, open those up. I drain the water, most of the water from the peas, drain it away. Uh, not from the peas, from the carrots. I drain most of that away. Next thing, I drain a little bit of the water away from the peas. And what I'll do is now add back the water from the peas, because I love marifat peas, I love the taste. If you do as well, that's a really, really lovely way to do it. And then add back some water from the marifat peas. And it's, it's, it saves putting just ordinary water with it, really. Um, once everything's looking sort of cooked, the potatoes are getting warm. And then add some carrots, and I add some peas, and end up. Uh, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh my god, yeah. <clears throat> I had that. It was bloody handsome. Oh. Then, what I do periodically. Salt I think it's good. Oh I had a taste. And if you whack a if uh, oh, telephone call. If you whack a potato on the spoon, try a potato, when you know they're hot enough, then that's as good as done. All cooked. Brilliant. I've got to make a phone call.